Hello everyone, this is Dale Howard, the Director of Education for Progility. It is my pleasure to welcome you to our Progility On Demand webinar series on tips and tricks for using Microsoft Project more effectively. In this set of tips and tricks, we will show you how to save and use personal templates in Microsoft Project. Now I would like to show you how to create, save, and use personal templates in Microsoft Project. What you see in my copy of Microsoft Project right now is a new project created from the default market research template that ships for free with every copy of Microsoft Project. But then I modified this project schedule heavily. On the left side of the screen, for example, I've applied the turquoise cell background formatting to every summary task. On the right side, you can see that I've formatted the Gantt chart pane to display the critical path. Though not obvious, I've also changed and added some task dependency relationships. If we go to the resource sheet view, you can see a list of five resources that I added to the project team. I haven't assigned any of them to tasks. That's something the project manager will do. And then if I return to the Gantt chart view, I also wanted you to see that I've created a customized timeline view that will accompany every new project created from the template. So, how do you actually save a project as a project template? Here's how. Click the File tab, then click the Save As tab in the Backstage. In the Backstage, click the Browse button. Now, Microsoft Project will usually browse automatically to the Documents Library, that just so happens to be where I do save my own personal templates, but in a folder called Custom Office Templates. So navigate to the location where you want to save all of your templates and then select that folder. Next, give your template a name. I'm going to call this Progility Market Research. And below the file name field, click the Save as Type Pick List and select the third item, Project Template. That saves it as an MPT file. So go ahead, after you've got the name entered and also Save as Type as a template, click the Save button. Microsoft Project will display a Save as Template dialog. If I had started this project from a completed project that I had cleaned up, I would check every one of these checkbox options. But since I'm starting with a fresh template created by Microsoft, it's not needed to select any of these, so I'm going to just click Save. Now notice in the title bar at the very top of the Microsoft Project application window, you can see the template name is Progility Market Research MPT, so it is indeed saved as a project template. So now I'll go ahead and close this file, so I'll click File, Close, and then Microsoft Project will automatically return me to the new page in the backstage. So I'm now looking for my new personal template. Here in the top section, I do notice Market Research Schedule, but that's not my personal template. That's the one I started with. And if I start looking down through the list, I'm not going to find my Progility template. It's not going to be here. I can tell you what's going on. This isn't a bug. What it means is we need to tell Microsoft Project where we are saving our personal templates. So here's how to do that. Click the Options tab in the Backstage to display the Project Options dialog. 
Then click the Save tab in Project Options. Halfway down the Save page, you will see a section called Save Templates with a single option, Default Personal Templates Location. It is blank by default in every copy of Microsoft Project because the software doesn't know where you want to save your personal templates. That could be almost anywhere. So the field is left blank as a result. So in that field, click the Browse button and then navigate to the folder where you are saving your personal templates. Because I already saved one personal template in this Custom Office Templates folder, Microsoft Project was smart enough to think maybe that's where all my templates are located. So up at the top here, you can see it actually selected Custom Office Templates. So what I'll do is I'll just click Custom Office Templates. It'll add that to the folder name field at the bottom, and then I'll click OK. And then it fills in the complete path to the Custom Office Templates folder. Then click the OK button. Now, if I click File, New, beyond this first section, if I scroll down a little further, here's something new. There's two folder tabs here, Office, which includes all of the default templates created by Microsoft, and Personal. This is where we will find our personal templates. So in the personal section, there it is, Progility Market Research. If I select that template, Microsoft Project opens a new dialog where it wants me to select the start date of the project. Well, this project won't be starting until about May the 3rd or so, so I'll pick May the 3rd and then click Create. Notice that Microsoft Project just created a brand new, fresh project using that custom personal template that I created in the first half of this video. Has this webinar generated interest in our services and solutions? If so, please contact Sarah Howard using the contact information shown on this slide. Also, don't forget to visit our website and our blog page as well. Thanks for watching our on-demand webinar today.